presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Ben in San Jose. Ben, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I just wanted to thank you and your team and everything. I've been using your technique with the 10-minute charts, watching the VIX, and uh, just making a fortune here on the futures. Isn't it interesting? <laughs> That's awesome, man. It's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We got five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body, you deplete your soul, and you go against yourself. And it'll take longer for you to accomplish your goal. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 158, NASDAQ down 13, SP's up 11.5, gold. Gold contract trading up $16.40 at 2020 an ounce. You get silver up 29 cents, $25.21 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 70, trade $81.44 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note down four ticks, trading 115.12, the 30 year. Down seven at 132.11 and King Dollar. King Dollar trading down 376 at 102.203. The Euro is at 109. The Yen is at 133. And the British Pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. I'm going to show you this quick because this is pretty cool, man. Okay, so I'm going to look at the futures for a second, right? I just want to show you this, and I, I, I suspect there's plenty of tigers and tigresses that are doing these, but this, is, this, this doesn't always set up like this. Okay, see this high volume low right here? So that high volume low right there, I'll just do this quickly, okay, is at a price point of 4128, right? But now watch this. If I go into the SPY and you look at that same number, right, what you're going to see here is that that number is 408.92, okay? So what this is all about, this is all about the one-day options, folks. When we were just here, up here, the, so get this number again, 409 point, no, 408.92, right? Well, when we were just up here, just before I got on the air, the four tens were a nickel, yes. So that means five bucks, okay? So I'm, I'm not, I'm, if you don't trade options, uh, you don't, uh, you, you, number one, you want to understand how options work. Number two, you understand time decay, all of the above. There's a lot of things to understand. But what's going to happen is that you're going to see a lot of deals that get set up like this. Now, this is the first one that I, I saw. It's just so blatant, okay? Because of the way that the market went up yesterday real slow and today real slow, they sucked everything out of these things. So they were a nickel. I'm not, I, I'll, I'll find out what they are. But the, you get my gist. Because if they go down here, that basically $5, um, well, that 50 bucks is going to turn into 1200 That's how that works. Um, now, we haven't seen anything like that since the OEX options. I used to trade OEX options as Kevin Hanks did, as anyone that was around at that point time which was a long time ago um and it, towards the end of the day they can get really interesting uh, you know in, in the context of yeah if 50 bucks you can lose 50 bucks in a second but big deal right you don't get that many opportunities with that type of risk versus reward and that's that right there even to the close is a beauty it would, uh, i mean you could already close it and percentage wise you could you would have done really well because they jump immediately, okay? And when, when they get something like that, like that one bar when it just come on makes a jump. But the bottom line, you get the gist of it. Keep your eye on something like that. And the opposite of that would be if you have a high volume up bar and then you're coming down and we're coming into the close. That would be just the opposite. And you know, you only have to be 
When you get an hour left, you only have to be one point of the spy out of the money. And, um, you know, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the roulette wheel, except uh, the way I look at it, that roulette wheel is in your favor in a monster way, particularly if you understand how these work. Um, and th here's one other rule, folks, okay? This is how this works. And so when you are doing the, you know, I, I'd say a million times that when, you, when you're putting orders in like that, right, you don't put, like if you're buying or selling an equity, you don't put a market order in, okay? Well, this is what the rule is inside the option market. And this, this goes all, this goes to all the Bay with access to souls bandits. And what it was is this, what it is is this. You can do a 10 lot and not normally on your brokerage account, as soon as you hit it, a 10 lot comes up anyway. You can do a 10 lot, but if you do a 10 lot and you do it, now I'm talking about on the spies and the cues, not, you know, some other, something that's not liquid. You t I put a market order in. I put a market order in and getting in, a market order and getting out. You blow everyone away. It doesn't go through another computer. Um, that's a rule that they put in for retail traders in 1996, I think. Um, bottom line, take it for what it's worth. You know, I'll talk about it more, um, but you're, you're in and you're out pretty quickly. So let me go. Where are we going here? Okay, so I want to go to the bond market, TY. We take a look at the TYs. And why? Because what you're going to see here is that this contraction of volume is dramatic inside the bond market. So we're going into, you're going into the biggest one you're going into. That's, in, yeah, the, the first leg up was 4.3 million contracts. Your next leg was 1.6 million. Your next leg was 1.5. So those are the three legs up, right? Well, <laughs> yesterday, you know, you, you, you come down with 775,000. Today, you're at 884,000. That's nothing, man. This thing looks to me like you're setting up an ABC structure on the way up. We get into the gold market. We take a look at the gold market out here. Where is she? So gold. Jeez. Oh. So gold market out here, that's running out at 118,000 today. You know, that's not a lot, con lot of, not lot, a lot of contract volume, but it doesn't need a lot of contract volume until start getting up at these highs again. So what we're looking for now is that we are looking for a break of the B point once again, because this turned into a complex ABC structure on the way up. We had got below the B point yesterday. We did it with lighter volume. So as long as you do it with lighter volume, you're still in an ABC structure on the way up. And your B point, once again, is that 2020, no, 2000, 2031, and your price projection is 2154. And then we go over to the dollar, and the, the dollar's a wild card here, man. It really is. It's like, you know, are you just going to, you know, take out lows here and, and blow some mines? Oh, you're going to get up and, you know, do that 0 0.382 retracement. And we'll find out. You know, it almost did it last time, but we'll see where it goes. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 177. NASDAQ is down to 284. Uh, S&Ps are up 13. Let's go to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You'll see it on the left-hand side. You just hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149, six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%, and you can get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, when you get his newsletter, folks, you're also going to get approximately a dozen archives, so you'll really understand how he looks at the market every day and how he rides that Chapman wave, and you're going to be able to ride that wave right along with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. What's going on, Basil? Well, I think it was three Tuesdays ago, you and I were speaking, and I said in the Chapman methodology, I wanted to just show this chart, and what I did is I took this chart and I said, we always try to identify the lowest low bar, and then each successively higher peak, we alphabetize A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but that fourth highest peak called peak D, that if you get a buy signal that's upgraded to a buy mode, you should get that D. And I've been saying to you for quite some time now, we should get a leg D in the Chapman Wave methodology in the Dow, and today we just got that leg D. How about that? And, uh, yeah, and you remember I had spoken about this in the sense that we had a peak D right here on the, what was this, this is a daily chart on the left, on the 14th of February at 34,331. We got a peak D just before that at 34,342 before the slide down to the 200 period moving average. So a chunk of the work that I've been wanting to do and for subscribers, we've been uh, trading, we have the down, we have the uh, three times long uh, UDOW uh, for quite some time now on a long position. <clears throat> we actually have some from October, from the exact October low. <clears throat> so now we've accomplished what we wanted here. And now it's time for me to assess in the daily, this is the weekly in the middle, and on the right is the monthly, whether or not this is the time that there could be a very quick pullback, if this is the time to put in a short, or just wait for a brief pullback to add even more to the long side. This is this is the moment I've been waiting for tonight. I'll be able to, we'll see where the market closes. But we've gotten to our leg D. A peak D means that whatever the high is today, on the bar that you're looking at, if there is a pullback and that high 
sees a lower high on the next bar, that makes a peak. So this is still a leg D. We haven't made the peak yet. This is going to be very interesting. You can see in this middle chart, the weekly chart, there, there's the, the green and the pink uh, narrow channel line. I call that the inside track repellent line. And once it breaks above, it could become a propellant line. And it coincides exactly with the Dow high at 36,952 in January of last, uh, why did I say uh, 20, 20, it should be 2022. Um, we're right uh, cusping right against that resistance there. So we'll see if in April there's a breakout in the weekly and the day in the monthly chart. That's going to be important. But this is where I need to do the homework. And the other thing I wanted to also mention was, <clears throat> I think it was last week I, I said to you that the DBA uh, Agricultural Fund, which we've been long for quite, quite a long time, uh, <clears throat> was doing very well. But it isn't all the grains. In fact, it's mostly the sugar this time. So look at this sugar chart. It's extraordinary. Look at that. So the DB, um, it rotates between the grains and the sugar. And right now, sugar's helping it a lot. So it's, it's climbed, and it's just going above in this long rectangle. It's The week is still young. There's still a whole couple of days to go before we wrap up on Friday at 4. But so far, it's snuck above the resistance line. And here's your peak D before, and we're in leg C. If we break sharply above it now, that makes it C in the weekly. That means that this is still a positive chart. And then I thought I'd mention something. <clears throat> I haven't discussed this before. But for subscribers, we are long. This particular stock is called Symbotic Inc. It's end-to-end -end, uh, artificial intelligence. Basically, a guy, I, I believe his family had uh, grocery stores for deck, which was uh, generational. And then he decided it was just getting too much work. He designed some robots. So he's de developed a robotic warehouse automation system. And so we are long. And, and today, look at this big spike today. So it's, it hit around number 29. In a leg F, I've got to be a little careful here, but look at this. I always talk about these Ds, and look at this D in the, oops, in the weekly chart. I've shown this to subscribers before we got in, um, and then after we got in. Um, there was this huge move to 28.48. SYM is the symbol. Okay. Trading at 28.80 up uh, 280 today. Um, it made this fantastic spike, and then it just gave everything up from 28.48 to $8.75. So what I like to do is to use bar symmetry. I find the plumb line. If I can find what I think is going to be the low or the high, then there should be an equal number of bars from the left side to the right side. I call it left side, right side, bar symmetry. And uh, we went there today, 28.48. It looked like it was a dream the other day when we were over here. But I said to subscribers in my weekend overview, which was an hour-long overview, um, for the coming week and what's had transpired, that once we broke ab ab above this long wick, if we were able to close above it, that would be really positive. And last week, we just snuck above it, and now look, look what's happened. We've broken to an all-time high. So I like to do this analysis. I'll do a little bit more in my show tomorrow so that folks can see it in the 10 o'clock hour, my Tiger Technician's hour, to see how I draw in these Left side, right side price tie matches. There's bar symmetry with a plumb line in the middle. And where you can use it, sometimes it doesn't fit. In fact, in the futures that we were looking at a little earlier, you can see here in the 10-minute the chart, we went to a peak D. We pulled back. I did a left side, right side match, and it came in about two points lower at peak C, and then it continued to climb. Right now, it's in a leg F. So you can apply this. It's a fractal of human nature. So it, it applies to one-minute charts. It applies to monthly charts. It doesn't matter. It's the same technique. So I thought it would be fascinating tomorrow for those. And, and you can give send nice. some requests request tomorrow to Basil Chapman at TFNN.com, and we'll do some live on the air. But I, I like this kind of technique because uh, it gives you some structure. And look, this SYM is holding so nicely above the nine-period moving average, which is sharply over the – the 14 period in the daily. And look at this in the in the Dow. The reason why I couldn't think of going short today before the peak D, usually as it's rising, I say maybe we can take a short, is because, yeah, it's the same thing. Look how strong the 9 is above the 14. For that to turn down and close for uh, clo the green, the 9 go underneath the 14 period moving out, you'd have to see the Dow somewhere down to 32,800. 
about a thousand points lower. So I have to be a little bit careful about being too aggressive here, at shorting. Uh, if I think that there's going to be a turn down, but so far we only have long positions and they seem to be working out. But I like this technique because it gives you very clear parameters. Look, resistance in the weekly, resistance in the monthly. If the Dow in April can start, find its way towards 34,500, that'll be something completely different. If it fails, I have to watch the 32,800s as support. And hey, folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You had no newsletters, you're going to see the opening call on the left-hand side. Just hit that button and you are off to the races. Basil, you have a great night, safe night, and of course, we look forward to the program tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 179. NASDAQ is down 6. S&P is off four, uh, up 14. And uh, if you heard Yellen this morning, folks, okay, this was such a crock of BS. It was amazing. So Yellen uh, plays down banking woes, sees no sign of credit crunch. This was, a, if you heard the speech, it was like she wasn't talking to you tigers and tigresses because <laughs> the bottom line is that this was like a, a propaganda speech, like beyond belief, without a lot of the adjectives on the outside of it because she was making like it was factual, and in particular this. So Yellen came out. I, I've seen that. I've not really seen evidence at this stage suggesting that a contraction in credit, although it's a possibility. Well, yes, she's the Treasury chief. Well, all you have to do is go over to the Federal Reserve, folks. The contraction of credit has been happening in a monster way. Uh, the, the, it's amazing. This is, this is this gets spit out of her mouth. The U.S. economy is obviously performing exceptionally well 
With the continued jo solid job creation, inflation gradually moving down, and robust uh, consumer spending. So I'm not anticipating a downturn in the economy. Although, of course, that remains a risk. Now, she got both of those, although, and oh, we always want to know, although, but. Those words are like, you know, forget it. Just get rid of the sentence before it. Uh, what was the... Oh, she's also oh, heard. Also, oh, her her deal is always although. I see she she put at the beginning. I'm not really. I've not really seen evidence of a at the stage suggesting a contraction of credit. Although there's a possibility, so I'm not anticipating a downtrend in the economy. Although, of course, there remains a risk. Now she got that off good old Ben Bernanke. Because the bottom line is that, if you remember, right around at that particular time, Bernanke comes out in 2007 saying, hey, listen, man, everything is in great shape, man. Don't worry about a freaking thing. And then all, <laughs> there, there it is, Duffy. Uh, exactly. Um, and I, I was, I'll tell you, man, yeah, it was, it was pretty wild. But it, it is what it is. And, you know, that's for the masses, evidently. And, that, you know, that's what's so sick about it. So think about that for a second, right? That we should be able to do very well in markets, folks, okay? Because the, the fundamentally, once you really start understanding how markets run, you don't have to be right in the context of, you know, this second. I'm talking like a broader picture here for just for a second, okay? But if you actually... Just keep certain principles that, that you think are factual, valid principles. You know, you can round that circle much better. <laughs> There's no doubt. The, the quickest way that you're going to go down the tubes is listen to that garbage, man. And that one there was just a crock. Particularly a crock because her own federal, well, it's not her federal reserve, it's the bank's federal reserve. You know, it was... But it has been saying, like, in, in a monster way, not a small way. Credit is contracting, folks, in a monster way, not in a small way, okay? This is like a, you know, a, you know, I, t Tommy showed this chart this morning. Now, this is, I'm uh, this is, this is going to be percentage year over year. When you see this thing, this is, this is like a total mind blower. So this is the contraction of money, okay? Now watch this, that's 2017, but I wanna show you something. This is a percentage. Now, with the chart that you're looking at, this is important to understand, the chart you're looking at is a percentage year over year chart, okay? Now watch this, I'm gonna put this all the way back to 1995. See if I can get that. Bingo. Okay. So, here, so here's a chart to 1995. Now, here's the times that the contraction, you know, if you, you're around in these times, okay? What is this? This is, this is cool to know. So here's 2000. So the contraction started, it actually started in 98. You had a contraction there. You had another contraction, 2001, you know, percentage-wise going down. This was the big one, okay? Here's the contraction in 2008, okay? See this contraction here? You're, you're up these on the on the y axis you're at 10 right you get all the way down to about two okay this one here is a total mind blow man I mean we've never seen anything like this this is and and it, this is what you want, really want to get your head wrapped around that when this was happening here in 2007, 2008, I believe, you know, most of us could see the destruction that was taking place. This is like a stealth deal. And I suspect what's going on is that because, you know, because there was so much, because this went up so fast, that there's probably plenty of folks and companies that don't realize that their pockets are basically getting drained this dramatically. So anyway, take it for what it's worth. But it that 
that no doubt was a trip and a half, man. It was like, you gotta be kidding me, man. And it's like, and it's right in front of us, man. And so realistically, when you look at something like that, folks, the, the aspect going forward, you know, would be, you know, another five or six months that there is gonna be, well, every day there's less cash in the marketplace. And the, my definition of inflation is that, first off, you have more cash, then you have the velocity of cash that's going through, okay? So what is happening there is that we're having less cash, and as soon as you have less cash, what ends up happening? Of course, the velocity also goes down simultaneously. So, you know, something, when, I, when I actually looked at that chart, I said to Tommy this morning, I says, man, I don't know, the, the aspect of, I'm not a cheerleader of Kathy Woods at all, but I'll tell you, when I look at that chart, I'm saying to myself, okay, she's looking at something like that, you know, that it could come in that fast and furious, and we'll see. And what does happen inside the CPI that comes out tomorrow morning, 30% of the CPI is inside the rent structure, folks. So that is still gonna be a slower process, you know, because you're talking about leases, you're talking about how many, you know, you're talking about long-term leases, basically. So that'll be longer, but my, my take on this is that the drain is happening. Now, it's not the end of the world because, and this is where the folks that have been saying for quite some time that they think the cuts are gonna be coming before the end of this year. Well, that totally makes sense because what ends up happening, when you get a cliff that's coming like that, well, the only way to stop that cliff is to do what? Up, oh, helicopter Ben comes back. Here comes all the money again, right? And then that's what's gonna to have to happen. I'm not, you know, <laughs> That's, that's kind of my mental calisthenics for this morning, folks. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It's a trip, no doubt. Let's go take a look at this E-mini and see what it's going to do. See if it's going to go after this uh, high-volume low. We don't have much time, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to get close here, man. Yeah, no, it's not. It's, yeah, well, we'll see. You get, you get expansion again. I just need one big bar. You know, well, you don't need all, all that. But what does happen when you have something that sticks out like that, it's like, okay, you can see that was only two bars this morning that they ch 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 shot it right down. So we'll see how it shakes out. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up 163. The NASDAQ is down 27. S&Ps are up 8.5. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech 
today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 137, Nasdaq's down 36, S&Ps are up 6.5. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. So point-wise out here, folks, what we have is that you have... Caterpillar putting uh, 38 positive points in, uh, Microsoft, United Health uh, 34, Goldman 24, uh, Home Depot 19. Taken away from it, you have uh, Microsoft minus 45, uh, Salesforce minus 16, Apple minus 8. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here. We take a look at it. Uh, Lucent's up 4.9%, uh, Align Technologies 3, taken away from it. You have uh, Moderna down 2.9. We have uh, Walgreens Boots off 2.7. And you have Microsoft off 2.4. We go to Walgreens. Uh, no, Walmart. One second. Here we go. Take a look at Walmart. Now, this is really un unusual, but this is like, uh, I suspect with the problems they're having in the city of Chicago, which is one after the other, Walmart is only going to have four stores left in the city of Chicago. They're closing four of them. And none of the stores uh, in the city of Chicago have been profitable for Walmart. So that is about as intense as you can get. I mean, we take a look at the chart out here in Walmart. Look at this. You're, 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 I mean, your bottom line, you're at highs. It's pretty amazing, actually. It really isn't because there was also a note out today um, um, on UBS. Now, this will get interesting, but I suspect coming into uh, you know, a recession is a problem, is that UBS thinks that there's going to be uh, closings. Did they? I think they said it's some outrageous number of retail stores. Um, you know. And, of course, what ends up happening, the big keep getting bigger, the small gets smaller. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a price deal. It's a, there's no doubt it's a price deal. It's particularly a price deal, folks, when th you have the aspect of um, getting squeezed, people getting squeezed on everything. And, you know, you can see those old Carmax. Let's look at Carmax for a second, because what you had out here this morning, watch this, Carmax. Okay, so COMAX this morning, the way these numbers work on COMAX, listen to this, this is wild. They actually, it's up six dollars, right? But number-wise, what ends up happening, they, you know, and this is where Elizabeth Warren's, Warren's of the world are probably right, because she can rip this one apart. Because what ends up happening is that they are actually selling um, a lot less cars and they're still making the same profit. Like, it's, it's an outrageous number, actually, man. Let me see if I can find this thing. Yeah, I can't find it right now because I have too many things happen at the same time, including that S&P coming at us. <laughs> so, you get the CPI tomorrow. Oh, you know what we also have tomorrow, though, that uh, no one's talking about, folks? And this is going to move the market as much as the CPI it's going to be the Fed minutes.
I believe the Fed is tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Yeah, the Fed minutes are tomorrow, man. The Fed minutes at two o'clock tomorrow afternoon are going to move this market, man, big time, because the Fed the Fed minutes are going to tell us exactly what the Federal Reserve said if they were saving face by just putting the um, the interest rate up an additional quarter of a percent. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be a big number. And if we go back over and take a look at this, I'm telling you, you know, I, I think I'll have to do a workshop on these options, folks, okay? Because <laughs> this one just might come to fruition, which is a mind blower, which is bottom line, if it ever gets down to the bottom of it, 50 bucks is, uh, let's see, I don't know, I, I'm going to close this pretty soon, I think, but 50 bucks is, if I get the whole thing, what is that? What is that? What is that number again? Four? 408.92. Yeah, 50 bucks is 1100. Yeah. So we'll see. Wait a minute. So you got 14 minutes left. That's how this works. Okay. And what you're going for, you're going for the, first I'll go for the top of it. The top of it is the 409.56, which gets you 450 bucks. You know, right now, yeah, we'll see where it shakes out. There, there, I've been used to them because what ended up happening is that I've done so many of the OEXs. I used to just trade OEXs left and right. And it's, you know, they're, they're mind racking, particularly, you know what this is like, folks? This is what it's like. This is the, the, uh, the, these options are like the, the guys and girls playing basketball, right? And it's always the last three or four seconds. Does a shot go in or doesn't the shot not go in? Okay, it can get that intense, you know. The difference with this one, when I set this up at the beginning of the program, was that we had a high volume low. And you crawled up with light volume the whole way. That's why I brought that up, because it was kind of sticking out like a sore thumb. But well, the, 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 this, is, this is going our way, man. I mean, you see that expansion of volume already? Let me pull up the futures. Because what will end up happening is the market makers themselves are going to try to goose this, you know. But yeah, look at this. This is this is getting goosed. This is getting goosed. This is going to this is going to your probability four one three five. We're getting there. Four one three five is the top of it. If they can get the top of it, they're going to go after the bottom of it. That's kind of how this just set up. That's that's just normal trading. That's how that will work. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today. Let's take a look at them. You get uh, Tesla's up 260. We have Riot up 169. Amazon's off two bucks. Let's go take a look at Amazon. So Amazon. Yeah, am, am, you know, Amazon, Amazon looks to me like it wants to get up to that uh, 108. Right now, you're, you're trading at 100. Because the way this is trading, you can see you're backing down, you know, you're backing down into, uh, what, 84 million shares, you're all doing only 51. That's a, de that's a decent setup. You know, so I suspect if, you know, like anything else, with, with, if, we, if we are actually going into a slower, you know, commerce type of business, what will end up happening is that we're all going to be looking to save money. That's what it comes down to. You know, when things are flush and you're going by, you know, you're not looking at every single dime. When things are not flush and you realize that, hey, if I save something here, if I save something here, it makes a difference. And that's good discipline, by the way, folks, okay? That's how we all should be all the time. I mean, and we're, we're not. That's, that's life, okay? But the reality is, is that uh, when that does happen, you're very happy when times come in uh, like this, that you, you understand, you know, how you should be shuffling things and how fast um, things can actually happen. Dow, Dow, yeah, well, here we go. Here we go. It's going after it. Okay, well, see, this is, the break is coming perfect so I can close these trades. <laughs> so, stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow Industrial is up 90. NASDAQ down 56. S&P is a flat right now. Uh, NASDAQ is down, NDX was down 91. We'll come right back, folks.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up uh, 53. Nasdaq's down 55. S&P's a flat. Now, let's go look at these. I want to show you something here. So what's happening, it's teetering on the top of that bar, folks. That's what's going on. See this quick? I gotta be quick on this. I got rid of 10, I got 10 more. So right here, you see what's happening? That's, that does that a lot, man. It, that, that's the high volume bar. It got down to it, it teetered on it. You know, we'll see whether it's gonna break into it, get to the bottom of it. If you do the SPY, you do the same thing. So, SPY. And you can see what I'm talking about, how this can, at the very end, particularly if in this particular case, so we're right there. See the top was the 409.56. See how that's hanging right there? Now the cool thing, this is to me, I'm, I'm gonna hang tight to the very end on the last 10. The reason being, see the expansion on volume? So that's telling me that I'm gonna have a decent shot to get whatever I can get out of this, because it doesn't matter. now. Those are, those are only worth 45 cents. It's still 450 for five bucks, you know, 50 bucks, whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? So we'll see where it shakes out. But when those babies set up, you know, those, you get the gist of it. You don't, you don't find risk rewards like that in the marketplace. It just doesn't happen. And, it, and also, you don't, this is what has also happened that I've, I've found all the time. When things are new, um, it's, they're easier to trade. And that these are new, so there's there's 
trust me, the, the machines will get to take these over, but it'll take them a year, two years, or something like that in order to really get their head wrapped around it. That's just, that's just kind of how things work, folks, okay? I remember when the first, the doubles and the triples came out, oh my God, they, that was like heaven on earth, you know? There's no doubt, so. Um, always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Real! Look at him, folks.